Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 19, and this is actually war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Ultra Legends. Now, if you're not already familiar with what's been going on with Alliance War, uh, we had some wars that were just canceled. Uh, and I think one of them didn't even count. So that's why you're not seeing... Um, I think it's eight and nine, something like that. All right, but we're back. And I went in with the team that I am really growing to love. All right, and uh, you can see I looked around. We're actually trying to win the last few wars of the season. So I went ahead and took path one. And I'm really liking Warlock. He's definitely one of my favorite tech champions to play. He is really good. All right, so first fight, we're going up against the Sunspot. And I'm not too worried. Uh, Sunspot's uh, specials are pretty easy to evade, both of them. But you do not want to get hit with that special too, I'll tell you that. It'll pretty much take you out. All right, so you can see here, I'm just being my usual aggressive self. Even if he's blocking, I still hit him because that puts, you know, more charges on him and helps me get that infection on him faster. And as you can see, we took him down without too much difficulty. All right. So, um, and I believe in this war, I think we went down a tier. So I don't think we're having to deal with the uh, defense tactic. Um, I think it was this war uh, where we didn't have to do that. And see, you can see we're dealing with masochism and there's no defense tactic. So masochism is a headache, but Warlock, he can handle it. Okay, now the only thing with Rogue is that she shrugs off debuffs faster. So you have to really be careful. All right, but we're just taking her, you know, like we know how to fight her. And then I just went in and decided to finish her off. That special two of Warlocks is crazy. All right, especially if she's already infected. I want to awaken my Warlock because that'll give him extra damage when they're infected. If I remember, they, they get a D gen. So would love to awaken him, but I'm not gonna use a gem on him. All right, so I finished that path and I get down here and they are handling this one. So I decided to look around. I'm not messing with that Korg. Uh, I just, you know, had to look. And yep, it's Mixmaster and Aggression, Prowess. I'm not trying to deal with that at all. And that Oscillate, if you guys saw my, you know, I think it was the first time. It wasn't even in the season. I had to deal with that node. I fought Korg. Normally Omega Red is great for it. But I was not used to that node. It was the first time I was encountering it. And I got wrecked. And I'm like, Cork is already annoying. And then with that node, and there's someone else that's really annoying on that node, which is Mordo. All right. But I said, all right, I'm just going to go ahead and let them handle that. And uh, when I came back, we had those minis up. And I'm like, okay, all right. Let's see what damage I can do. So I continue on. You can see they cleared uh, the Korg and, and everything. And so I go back up this side and I'm like, hmm, nobody put anyone there. So let's just go ahead and, you know, get those free points. Go all the way down here. We've got one energy left and I had already calculated it. So I knew that I could reach this next mini and i'm like all right i'll take out this uh quake and nick fury also a champion that i am really enjoying playing so you can see he has rage uh or she has rage on this uh node here and so my thought going in here was that nick fury does a lot of bleed she's not bleed immune and with the rage no, that will be a good thing. I can just, you know, try to slow play it. Hope he doesn't do big damage because most of his damage seems to be 
in the bleed. And since this is not the real Nick Fury right now, we shouldn't trigger rage. That was my thinking. Okay. Um, but I wasn't sure. This is just me trying this out. So I go in and of course I know how to fight her. You do not want to let her um, charge her heavy if you can help it because even one stack seems to have such a high chance. It shouldn't, but a high chance. Now you see that I evaded her special one. No problem, right? Um, I got that, um, what is it, deep wound or whatever on him, uh, open wound. And uh, I'm just doing great, right? So I'm like, yeah, I got this now. Let me back all the way up. And then I get hit. I'm just like, really? Really? You see she died, right? I'm just like, the fight was over. The bleed was going to take her out. And I backed up, thought I had enough room, but I didn't. That could have took me out. Look how much damage just that one hit did. I'm just like, that's ridiculous. It's one of the reasons that I don't like war. You know, the uh, health potions are expensive. And I would have to heal up. But didn't get a chance. Now, we're going to look here. This is the boss fight. Uh, Jigner uh, went in with Gwenpool. And I love it because Jigner is using champions that are awesome champions. But people sleep on and they figure, oh, well, the meta has changed, you know, and their time has passed. But Jigner is showing you that these champions are still good. Okay, so the thing about Gwenpool, someone asked me this uh, when they were watching uh, him take on Thing. And I don't think a lot of people realize this, but with each hit of her combo uh, meter, she reduces their ability accuracy. I believe it's like 2% per hit. So by the time you get to 50, you shut them down. So Thing doesn't generate those rock stacks anymore and any of these other little pesky things just don't fire off all right but it doesn't look like he's going to even make it because she also has a very nasty bleed okay boom all right he's going down i, I bet you you thought that was going to finish it off didn't you jigner all right so that's going to do it and we'll be back and we'll find out how we did And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, we got down all three of our bosses. They got down one of our bosses. And let's take a look down here. The uh, MVPs uh, for my alliance. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.